Hey everyone, this is Tally with TGM bringing you patch 4.3 tier 13 set bonuses. Now Zarim, the community manager over at Blizzard, has made a small post here in the World of Warcraft section concerning the tier 13 set bonuses. Uh, it's it's more of a, a preview. It's what they're looking to implement uh, for the tier 13 content. Now this is all not set in stone. This is not 100%. Hopefully, maybe they make a few changes to some things that I might not agree with. Obviously, I'm going to be looking more at about the you know tanking uh, aspect of the tier set 13 bonuses rather than um, all the other classes that I guess I don't know a lot about. <laughs> so, um, Death Knight. Let's start with the Death Knight uh, Blood 2 piece. Uh, when an attack drops your health below 35%, one of your blood runes will immediately activate and confer convert into a death rune for the next 20 seconds. This effect cannot occur more than once every 45 seconds. Now, the Blood 4 piece. This is interesting. Your Vampiric Blood ability also affects all party and raid members for 50% of the effect it has on you. Now, what does this do? This is basically giving uh, Blood Death Knights a raid wall. Something that the tanks have been complaining so much about in, for the past couple years now. Uh, you know, Paladin QQ, Paladins have raid wall, they're a better raid utility. This, let's take them to raid and not the Death Knights or, you know, the, the bear tank. So now, we're all kind of like on the same, kind of like on the same playing field here. Now, we all have the ability to, uh, pop a raid wall when needed. And this kind of makes you think what kind of encounters we're going to be seeing, uh, in the Deathwing raid. You know, makes you think that there's going to be some sort of a crazy uh, AOE action going on. That's what I would think. Now for DPS, two piece. Sudden Doom has a 30% chance and Rhyme has a 60% chance to grant two charges when triggered instead of one. Four piece. Runic Empowerment has a 25% chance and Runic Corruption has a 40% chance to also grant 710 mastery rating for 12 seconds when activated. That's probably going to be good for the DPS, I guess. You guys let me know because I have no idea what's going on. Um, Druid. Druid two-piece for balance. Laser chicken. Boom, 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 boom. Druid. Anyway, Insect Swarm increases all damage done by your Starfire, Star Surge, and Wrath Spells. Uh, wrath Spells. Boom, boom against that target by 3%. That's OP. Balance 4 piece. Star Surge generates 100% extra lunar or solar energy while the Eclipse is not active. Now the Feral 2 piece. While Berserk is active, Savage Defense absorbs are 100% larger and your blood in the water talent now causes Ferocious Bite to refresh the duration of your rip on targets with 60% or less health. Now, from a tank perspective, uh, perspective, excuse me, Rumpopotamus, who is my bear tank, is going to love this because this is basically just more mitigation uh, for non-shield wearing tanks like Death Knights, uh, or in this case, bear tanks. Um, this is definitely going to be pretty amazing, so uh, Berserk is probably going to be something that you want to use, not maybe at the beginning of a fight um, to get as much aggro as possible and go ballistic on a boss. Uh, it's, it, might be hap it might be just like a cooldown that you need to use. Um, in a tight situation, maybe when the healer's down during a transition, whatever it may be. Now, the Feral 4 piece, Frenzied Regeneration also affects all raid and party members. And your Stampede talent now grants two charges after using Feral Charge. Now, Frenzied Regeneration, this is another change that Blizzard is making in order to have tanks with more raid wall abilities. So now, no matter who you bring to a raid, Rally and Cry for a Warrior, Divine Guardian for a Paladin, Frenzy Regeneration for a Bear Tank, Death Knight uh, Vampiric Blood Ability. These are all going to be utilities that can be used in a raid for raid walls. So you, no guilds can really say, well, this tank gives me a better AoE cooldown than that tank. It's all basically going to be the same. I guess it depends now who has the shorter cooldown, right? Let's go to Hunters. Uh, actually, no, let's finish off Druid. I forgot about Resto. Haha, <laughs> who cares about um, after using Innervate, this is the two piece. After using Innervate, the mana cost of your healing spells is reduced by 25% for 15 seconds. So basically another mana conservation, uh, utility there. Uh, Restoration 4 piece. Your Rejuvenation and Regrowth spells have a 10% chance to time slip and have double the, no uh, double the normal duration. That's for our Restoration now. 
Hunters, two piece. Steady shot and cobra shot generate double the amount of focus. Kind of cool. Four piece. Your arcane shot ability has a chance to grant 25% haste to you and your pet for 10 seconds. Um, your arcane shot ability has a chance. Uh, how big of a chance? Doesn't say. We're going to have to, you know, I guess do some uh, data testing once the PTRs are active, which are supposed to be active sometime next week, so that'll be pretty cool. Mage. Uh oh, here we go. Incoming QQ. QQ. Ah. Enough QQ to block out the sun. That's why I'm wearing sunglasses in the dark. Uh, two piece. Your damaging spells have a 30% chance to grant stolen time. Increasing your haste rating by 50 for 30 seconds and stacking up to 10 times. When arcane power, combustion, or icy veins expires, all stacks of stolen time are lost. That's pretty cool. That's actually, you know, at least Blizzard doing something new, you know. Uh, four piece. Each stack of stolen time also reduces the cooldown of arcane power by three seconds, combustion by four seconds, and icy veins by six seconds. Paladins. Let me, uh, let me go myself right here. Okay. All right. What's that over there? Paladins. You are the one, Neo. Okay. Um, holy two piece. After using divine favor, the mana cost of your healing spells is reduced by 25% for 15 seconds. Once again, more, uh, conserving of your mana type two piece, four piece bonuses. Um, holy four piece. Increases the healing done by your holy radiance spells by 20%. Once again, another little tip or a little hint as to the, maybe there's some sort of crazy AOE damage going on during the Deathwing encounter or the Deathwing raid. Uh, we've already seen um, Holy Radiance is uh, AOE heal, of course, and um, all the raid wall uh, buffs to all the other tanks. Who knows what might happen? Oh, man, nose itch, nose itch. Stop, stop. You're live, you're live. Who cares? I gotta itch it. Oh, God, here we go. Protection. Here we go. Protection 2-piece. Your Judgment ability now also grants a Physical Absorb Shield equal to 30% of the damage it dealt. Now, your Judgment ability, I'm not sure if that I means, does that also count the uh, the the ticks of Seal of Truth, just the Judgment itself damage? I'm not sure, but that seems like it's okay. We'll talk about that later compared to the other tanks out there. Um, protection 4-piece. Reduces the cooldown of Divine Guardian by 60 seconds and increases the radius of the effect by 70 yards back to 100. So basically, this is something that I talked about last night on my live stream that I just didn't agree with at all. Um, what's going on here is they're basically taking a talent that they changed a few patches ago and giving us back the original state of that talent, meaning that when 4.0 is out, 4.1 I believe, Divine Guardian was already on a two-minute cooldown and was already... Uh, giving everyone uh, a raid wall for about 100 yards. So they changed it, I, I guess because it needed a bit of a nerf. It was too powerful, according to Ghostcrawler. And now, now our four-piece, our, well, our current Divine Guardian is three minutes and only 30 yards. So now our four-piece is basically just reverting the talent back to what it was before they changed it. Now, in my opinion, all they really need to do is just hotfix and change the talent back to what they want this four piece to be and maybe they can give us something semi useful that would be nice but what i guess i'm just asking too much of blizzard right way to you know be creative uh retribution two piece your judgment ability has a 50 percent chance to generate one holy power pretty cool four piece while zealotry is active your abilities deal 12 percent more damage wow that's pretty cool because zealotry has is, is a pretty long duration and I mean, if while Zelotry is active, all your abilities do 12% more damage, that can mean, you know, once you pop uh, your Guardian, get your stacks up, pop your wings, and then Zelotry, I mean, between the damage from uh, Templar's Verdict and uh, Hammer of Fuck Your Face, I mean Hammer of Wrath, Hammer of Fuck Your Face, um, that'll be pretty OP in my opinion, so I'm liking the Paladin uh, Retribution 4-piece, without a doubt. Now, Priests, Priests, Healers, 2-piece. After using Power Infusion or Light Well, the mana cost of your healing ability uh, spells is reduced by 25%. So we're seeing that trend here with the reduced mana cost after using some of your special abilities. Um, 
by 25% for 10 to 15 seconds, 10 seconds for discipline, 15 seconds for non-discipline. Healer 4-piece, your power word shield has a 10% chance to absorb 100% additional damage, and the cooldown of your holy word abilities is reduced by 20%. That seems like it's pretty amazing. Um, hell, I mean, even in PvP, I would probably be a priest wearing 4-piece tier, and then the rest just resilient stacking. See how that works out. Uh, Shadow 2 piece. Shadow Word Death deals an additional 55% damage. Uh, and you no longer take damage from your Shadow Word Death when a target falls to die. Shadow 4 piece. Your Shadow Fiend and Shadow Apparitions have a 100% chance to grant you 3 Shadow Orbs each time they deal damage. Someone just explain what that means to me and I'll be able to understand. <laughs> Rogues. All oh, legendaries. Oh, we got the daggers. Daggers. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And um, here's what rogues have. Two piece for rogues are, after triggering Tricks of the Trade, your abilities cost 20% less energy for 6 seconds. Four piece, increase the, increase the duration of Shadow Dance by 2 seconds, Adrenaline Rush by 3 seconds, and Vendetta by 9 seconds. Shamans, Elemental, two piece. Elemental Mastery also grants you 400 Mastery Rating for 15 seconds. Whoa. <laughs> Elemental back in the house <laughs> for, for fucking raids. Elemental four piece. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe because Paragon brought no shamans to the raids. Now Blizzard's like, oh, let's buff all the shamans. They need to be in raids. Just kidding. I love shamans. I have my own. He's a healer, but he's okay. Each time elemental overload triggers, you gain two hundred haste rating for four seconds, stacking up to three times. Now enhancement two piece. While you have any stacks of maelstrom weapon, your lightning bolt, chain lightning, and healing healing spells deal twenty percent more healing or damage. Four piece for enhancement. Your feral spirits, I guess those are the ghost wolves. Yeah. Uh, have a 45% chance to grant you a charge of maelstrom weapon each time they deal damage. Now, uh, restoration two piece. Oh, my eyes are itchy looking at the screen too long. Restoration two piece. After using manatee totem, the cost of your healing spells are reduced by 25%. Again. Restoration 4 piece increases the duration of Spirit Walker's Grace by 5 seconds and you gain 30% haste while Spirit Walker's Grace is active. Uh, Warlock 2 piece. Uh, the duration of your Doom Guard and Infernal Summons is increased by 15 to 45 seconds and the cooldown of those spells is reduced by 4 minutes. 45 for Demonology, 15 for Non Demonology. 4 piece. Soul Burn grants a 10% increase to your spell power for 10 seconds. Warriors, this guy's first thing is cool. Uh, warriors, protection, two piece. Your your revenge ability now also grants a physical absorb damage uh, shield equal to twenty percent of the damage done by revenge. Protection four piece. Your shield wall ability now also grants fifty percent of its effect to all party and raid members. So let's look at this here for a second, okay? DPS, uh, Heroic Strike 2 piece, it's 2 piece. Heroic Strike costs 10 less rage while Inner Rage is active. DPS 4 piece, your Execute Critical Strikes have a 20% chance to refresh the duration of Colossus Smash. Which is pretty cool, although I never known that a lot of warriors are using, uh, Execute and stuff like that. I don't know. They tell me, don't use Execute, it's terrible damage. Now, let's talk about the Warrior Prot, shall we? I mean, Protection Warriors, your Shield Wall ability now grants 50% of its effect to all party members in raids. Now, they're giving the four piece warriors another raid wall. They have rallying cry and now they have this four piece. So in my opinion, in the last year or so, what used to be warriors at the bottom of the list uh in terms of tanking now takes them to the top of the list. And um I don't know what to think about that. I mean, even the two-piece seems a little bit on the OP side. Revenge? Revenge hits like a truck. I've seen videos. I saw a couple of videos of some of some warrior tanks this morning. Some people are hitting revenge uh, with full vengeance on boss fights for like 50, 60K. Now, compare that to the two-piece paladin tanking judgment. Um, I don't remember every, ever hitting a judgment for more than 20, 25K maybe. I mean, that might actually make the Glyph of Judgment, you know, go up a little bit uh, in terms of priority uh, on certain boss fights that you might need a lot of mitigation on. But it seems like Warriors definitely, definitely got a huge boost. Now, I haven't read any more blue posts after this, but having your sh the, the Warrior Shield Wall affect the entire raid, um, basically you're giving your whole entire raid a raid wall, just like Paladins, but then also at the same time you have Rallying Cry... 
that, you know, it's like a last stand kind of thing for the entire race. So now, Warriors kind of had just <laughs> swooped up into the top spot in terms of tanking, um, in my opinion, if these changes do go through. But once again, folks, this has been Tally with TGN. Um, am I happy with the Paladin changes for two or four piece? No, not at all. Um, are Warriors going to... Um, Benefit more if they stay this way? Yes. Um, are bear tanks and death knight tanks going to be used in raids more now because they have a raid wall? Yeah, probably. I mean, you've seen a lot of guilds out there uh, switching their tanks to paladin tanks um, uh, and warrior tanks for Rally and Cry because of the ability that they have and the utility to, you know, help the entire raid. Now all the tanks have it. Now, it's, now I guess it's left up to who can, uh, you know, smash their buttons harder and, I guess, skill... Maybe? I don't know. But um, thank you once again for watching. This has been Tally with TGN 4.3 patch tier set bonuses preview. Not set in stone. Once again, just speculation, ideas that Blizzard's throwing out there. Let me know what you guys think. As a matter of fact, um, if you think that your class is going to be benefiting from your 2 and 4 piece, hit the like button. If you believe that whatever class you play... Is, and you believe your two and four piece is complete and utter shit, hit dislike. Honestly, folks, I don't care. Like or dislike, doesn't matter to me. I'm not one of those, oh, hit the like button and I want everyone to like me. me, 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 me. If you like your tier set bonuses, like. If you don't like, dislike. I, myself, am going to be disliking my own video because I do not like my paladin, uh, <laughs> my paladin set bonuses. But uh, go ahead and visit me on my YouTube account, personal YouTube account, youtube.com slash console crusader come see me check me out i'm live usually probably right now as you're watching this video um on twitch.tv slash tally it's uh we're basically the number one um based uh cataclysm live stream on twitch.tv hands down um so please stop by you you'll see me leveling my other characters i have all my tanks i have multiple paladins i have healers now yeah i know i'm healing don't even talk to me about this i'm healing i know but it's a resto shaman they don't even really count as healers right and, um, yeah, so we're basically the number one twitch.tv cataclysm, um, uh, stream on Twitch. Uh, come visit me there, uh, hang out with me, ask questions. I'm very interactive with my fans. Um, I hope to see a lot more of you there. Um, facebook.com slash tally, twitter.com slash tally the tank. Um, I know I'm missing something. Hmm. Tally.com. Although I don't post that much there anymore. But it's glad to be, uh, going back to posting some more videos on the, um, TGN World of Warcraft section. Uh, I'm going to be posting more in the future. Also, check out some of my shows on the TGN Central channel, youtube.com slash TGN. I have a bunch of, uh, I have a new series called Tits. Yeah, I can say that. Whatever. Tits. Which is, which is, uh, which is a little, I guess, um, acronym for Tally is the shit is what basically we've decided to name that. We as in me, my friends, the live stream, my girlfriend had to approve of it. Whatever. Anyway, uh, Tally with TGN folks. See you later. Peace out. Thumbs up. If you like your tour. I'm gonna thumbs it down because it sucks.